Dallas pediatrician Dr. Sue Hubbard recently wrote an ebook titled Tattoos to Texting, Parenting Today's Teens that takes on topics that many teens and their parents face. One of those issues is called the, the good grade pill. And if you're not aware of what that means, you'll be surprised. It has to do with teens taking their friends ADHD medicine so they can stay focused while taking exams. It's dangerous, it's illegal, and Dr. Sue's here to tell us more. Wow, I've never heard of this. You know, Amy, that's one of the things we see with teenagers. There's definitely ADHD, we know that, but there's abuse of these drugs. And yeah. once your child becomes a teenager and they're pressured and stressed, mm -hmm. they start sharing these medicines, and we see it in high schools and definitely in colleges. So yeah. parents need to be aware of that and talk to their kids about why you don't use these exactly. drugs inappropriately. Exactly. I have three teenagers, well, a, t a tween and two teenagers, and um, I've never heard more about drugs, especially in high school as and as available as they are right now. It's incredible what they have access to. You know, access is a problem and they're together all the time. And mm -hmm. social media mm -hmm. has just led to more problems with alcohol and drugs. And I think that leads to another point with parents. We need to talk about how you control media in your home. Right. And parents need to be aware and yeah. they need to connect with their teen mm -hmm. and have rules mm -hmm. such as docking your phones at night. We all need to do we that. We do that at our house. So and we go in and whatever huge. time it is for your appropriately aged child, you mm -hmm. have a time the tea and the phone goes out of the room the mm -hmm. computer goes off mm -hmm. it's difficult raising teenagers today and my mother always says god i just pray for you but I, I try to go back to the basics and i think you have some really good points on just getting back to the basics and raising teens today you know i think the basics is exactly right family meals we've gone away from that everyone's yeah, really busy so i hear true. all the time i'm too busy to have dinner so together true. we'll make the time mm -hmm. family breakfast do it that way yeah. come together we know that the kids that have family meals have less involvement with drugs they have better grades they usually get more sleep they have better routines so just family meal time again time together like you talked about before the segment mm -hmm. in the car with your kid is a perfect time to turn off the phone and talk yeah listen to your teenager that's what I find that they will tell me the most is if I can get them trapped in the car it's every other place. day we had to go to Dallas and my husband was like why are you going all the way to Dallas to do that you can do that you know for her in town and I said I want to get her in the car that's where I learned the most is trapping them <laughs> trapping her and those <laughs> minutes whether it's 10 minutes or 20 minutes yeah. and saying sweetie turn off the phone or engaging them in something yeah something even on the radio sometimes that comes up and then turn it off and go let's talk about that mm -hmm. what do you think about that so listen to your teen talk yeah. to your teen another thing we talk about is be present in your home yes. not just home but aware and present you need to watch listen and sometimes I feel parents are home mm -hmm. but they're not really engaged with their child and and explain more about that because you, you you said something that was so kind of hit home with me mm -hmm. about Having, we have the kids over, right? But it's like, yeah, I'm home, but they don't want you around. You know, get out of the way, Mama. They want to be embarrassed by you, and you just stay away. Well, I think you do stay away for a point, mm -hmm. but you're not like the dog at the house. You need to kind of go out every once in a while. Oh, it looks like y'all need more hot dogs. We used to have to walk through the back room, the media room of our house, to get to the refrigerator in the back, and every mm -hmm. once in a while, I just have to go in there. I ran out of water. Hi, how is everyone? You need to know what's going on and be watching. And know your kids' friends. And know your friends' kids. I'm sorry, kids your, friends. Your, fri your kids' friends, that's right. Um, and let your children, your teenagers know how much you love them. Mm -hmm. And the reason you have rules is because you love them. And, yeah. And again, I think back to basics, you are the parent, not their friend. Exactly. And back to the whole drug issue, how can we, one, just be aware? How, what are some tips on picking up on if something's going wrong? Any big changes in your teenager should be bothersome. Okay. They become more isolated. Their grades drop. Their friends change. Mm -hmm. All of those are red flags. Mm -hmm. And when you see those combined, sometimes your child does get a little down in the dumps. But you mm -hmm. see multiple things, mm -hmm. I think those are red flags. Okay. What's going on? And if you are suspicious, mm -hmm. I tell my patients, if you're suspicious, then go talk to your kid. Yeah. It's good stuff. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank I really you. appreciate this. This is, always hits home with me, and I know it does with our viewers, so I really appreciate it. All right, you can get all this information and her book. Uh, we've got a link there on our website for you. It's at, uh, it's at Amazon and iTunes and Barnes and & Noble. You can just get more on our, on our website at broadcasttv.com to check out Dr. Kim's, and we'll have that link there for you. All right, up next on the broadcast, we're talking wines. Shocker, I know. And which ones are best for your upcoming Thanksgiving meal? Stay tuned.